video here. This time, uh, well, I've spent half the day creating uh, a protest uh, sign. It's rather huge. Not even going to be able to fit all this in the... It's, it's huge. Um, yeah. Anyways, that was half my day. There's a video here actually playing of me um, creating it. So, uh, I just wanted to address uh, the last offer from Reliance that we got, which is apparently the last offer we're ever going to get. Um, they've made it clear that uh, everything is dead. I mean, it's just March till the end of April and face whatever consequences they intend to um, dish out at us. I don't know what those are. Um, you know, I mean, eviction, uh, trying to increase our rent by God knows what. I mean, in the past they have uh, previously thrown out the number of $1,100 increase in my rent, which would be about a 90% increase. So I suppose that's entirely possible. Um, maybe not at the end of April, because at that point we'll still be under this uh, COVID emergency and uh, evictions, all evictions in BC, I believe, are being held. Uh, so he'll have to wait until after the public emergency has been um, lifted. At any rate, uh, this, this was slipped under our door, pre-signed, uh, initialed, pre-signed, uh, waiting for us to agree, which we weren't going to agree. This is February 19th, by the way, so it did happen uh, more than a month ago, about six weeks ago, a um, little less than, but whatever. Uh, at any rate, we did promptly uh, refuse them because they are just entirely unacceptable. They are a million miles away from our signed TRP. And this, this is what Sandra's saying is going to try and get you to accept. You have your agreement, um, uh, an agreement entered into by the City of Vancouver and by your developer, in our case, Reliance. That document, as I've previously explained, uh, is a TRP, Tenant Relocation Program, and it is worthless when it comes to demo evictions. And when you get to the end and you're about to move into your building, trust me, by then, you're gonna find out that your developer is trying to screw you, the city has abandoned you, Sandra Singh was likely lying to you for months by this point, and now is giving you the whole, ooh, we're shocked that a developer would behave this way, that they would interpret it this way, we've spoken to our lawyers, and unfortunately our lawyers must have overlooked, you know, some of these things back in the day when we had the agreement, and, you know, we didn't have tight enough language or whatever, and now you're stuck with it. Now you're stuck with your vague language and your developer has the right to do what they're doing and we never saw this coming and, well, let me tell you, it's all a bunch of bullshit. She saw it coming. She saw it coming before us. She dealt with several other people before us, telling them the exact same story. If you want to know about that, talk to the Vancouver Tenants Union. Lots of members in the Vancouver Tenant Union have dealt with Sandra Singh, were told all kinds of lies, um, and then, you know, we come along, we're thinking that, you know, this has never happened, and then all of a sudden it starts happening to us, she starts telling us this stuff, starts telling us we're going to have to move well away from our TRP and closer to what the developer now wants. So, uh, option one, um, and by the way, this was all um, supposed to be NDA'd. Um, which I didn't sign, so I have not signed on to the NDA, so the NDA can screw itself and so can John. Um, they signed it, and as much as they signed it, he probably broke it um, by uh, tweeting out a link to a document that wasn't this document, but contained all the stuff of this document. Most of the stuff of this document, anyways, the offers contained in this document. So John already leaked the offers and tried to wave it as some kind of a flag of how bloody awesome he is, and trust me, he's not. Um, at any rate, option one, uh, available to the tenants, we could stay here at 33 Water Street, paying our current rent. Um, all we'd have to do is sign a new lease. Uh, yeah, we'd have to sign a new lease. Um, problem with that being, our lease here is perfectly valid. 
and there's no reason to go sign another lease. Other than, of course, that new lease, which I've already seen versions of this lease because one of the previous family members who ended up signing on to a deal because he just couldn't handle the pressure anymore. Um, trust me, that lease had a ton, ton of restrictive language built into it that's not in our current lease. And that is why they constantly want us to get into these new leases and we're not gonna do it. So that's option one, um, and that's a no, or I should say option A. Option B, the tenant will enter into a residential tenancy agreement at 1188 Bidwell for the uh, retail market rate, less 33%, um, which would still see my rent going up a um, couple hundred dollars, uh, which I refuse to pay. I'm not paying a rent increase. And, and this is uh, not an ongoing... Yeah, so that would be a um, substantial rent increase. And then option C. Option C is the best one out of the mix. Um, and I should actually uh, also state that option B is rather difficult to contemplate because it has listed here three different uh, rental amounts. Um, and Previously, they had tried to offer all of these units to us at uh, significantly higher rents and they were all the same rent and so now um, somehow magically they've all got different rents and they're all like their math anyways their math on the rents at 1188 Bidwell it's all over the place and it's hard to keep track of what they're doing there because they like to throw out various numbers and give you reasons why those numbers are now that way and at the end of the day, it's just that they started off trying to screw us out of $1,100, got slapped down for that, reduced it down to like $700, got slapped down for that. Now they're you know trying to increase us by a few hundred dollars and even that we're not going to take because my rent as it is now should actually be going down by $200. So. This offer here is a further $200 rent increase, which means this is a four to $500 rent increase over my TRP. And I have a signed contract, that TRP, Tenant Relocation Program. I've signed it, he signed it, it was tabled at the city and permits were given on it. If he thinks I'm moving off of any of the points of that original document, John is insane. So I will not accept a four or $500 rental increase, even if he thinks it's him being altruistic. Um, C is really the best one. C, C is for us to move into the West End, into a, a unit they have at Barclay, on Barclay Street. It's an old three-story walk-up. And obviously it is going to get ripped down in a few years, three, four, five years, who the hell knows when, but they're gonna rip it down. So we'll be facing a future dem eviction if we accept option C. And option C is for the same rent that we're paying here, which is market value for that building. Um, unless maybe they are charging people more money for that building, in which case, John, you are greedy. That is an old bloody building, and if you are charging people like 18, 19, you know, $2,000, you're crazy. It isn't worth more than the $1,400 that you're proposing to charge me. It's an old three-story walk-up. Um, at any rate, not going to take it because I'm not interested in a future dem eviction where you get to take all the lessons that we've learned, that we've taught you here in this battle and use them against us, you know, four or five years from now when you're tearing that building down. So option A, B, and C are all ridiculous. Option A is sign a new lease here. Why would I do that when my current lease is perfectly valid and I'm not interested in any new clauses or anything else that you want to shove in there? Option B represents about a $500 rental increase over what my original TRP would have given me. Not paying you $500 more. I have the legal right to actually have my rent go down from here, as is that agreement that you have been violating since day one. Option C is a future dem eviction. And uh, if you want to know, you know exactly what would be in a lease, 
that they come from? Look, I mean, they've got all kinds of weird language just in this agreement that John broke and that I did not sign. I have never signed. They slipped it under my door pre-signed, but I didn't sign it. Um, the tenant agrees that the form of residential tenancy agreement, either the Water Street unit, Bidwell unit, or Barclay Street unit, will be on the landlord's standard form of residential tenancy agreement in use by the landlord at the time the residential is entered into. So, okay, standard lease. Um, for the new uh, ones, uh, again, I've seen the lease. If they're calling it standard, uh, it's not. It's got all kinds of written language and in the words of the guy that signed that and then ended up moving away anyways, it's so locked down that you are screwed. That's what he said. Uh, release. Um, the tenant, on their own behalf and on the behalf of their heirs, executors, administrators, representatives, agents, and assigns irrevocable releases and forever discharges the landlord and its heirs, executors, administrators, successors, representatives, agents, officers, directors, employees, disclosed and subsidiaries are related to, oh, I mean, it goes on and on and on and on, basically everybody, anybody that I've even perhaps swapped DNA with in the past, who the hell knows, would be included in me signing this, that uh, the landlord has completed has complied with all obligations owed to the tenant with respect to the tenant's current and former residential tenancy agreements, including, without limiting to, the general, uh, limiting the generality of foregoing all obligations pursuant to the, to the Act and or the City of Vancouver's tenant relocation. So if I sign this, me, all of my heirs, anybody that I've swapped DNA with, I'm supposing, um, all, you know, basically we all relinquish any right to contest anything that goes on. We throw away our rights to the original signed TRP. Go to hell, John. Not signing this. Not signing this. Not giving up my rights to the original TRP. You are definitely heavily smoking crack if you think for one second that I am going to sign this and throw away my rights to the original TRP, the thing that you refuse to even discuss, the thing that you refuse to honor, the thing that you are miles away from, you are, you are crazy. Confidentiality. The tenant agrees that the terms of this agreement and all facts and terms related to the existing residential tenancy agreement between the tenant and the landlord and the residential tenancy agreement to be entered into between the tenant and the landlord shall be kept strictly confidential and not to be disclosed to any person except and then only to the extent necessary to their professional advisors on a confidential basis pursuant to an order of a court uh, con court of contempt of jurisdiction and otherwise required by law. Yeah, again, I'm not signing this. I did not enter into this confidentiality agreement. Um, John already broke it, um, as far as I'm concerned, by tweeting out the details of it, and that tweet is obviously public record. Um, so, you know, this, this isn't worth anything anyways. This whole agreement isn't worth anything. He tore it up. Um, yeah, I had, uh, this agreement is open for acceptance until 4 p.m. on the 25th of February, so, well, we never signed it, we never agreed. Anyways, this, this is what Sandra Singh's efforts are worth. Um, they are worth nothing close to the signed TRP that we had back in 2016 for which the city issued permits. They are not, uh, her word isn't worth you know, any of the permits issued on the back of that, her word is worth this. This is what all of her work and her word is worth. This is Sandra Singh singing us up the river. Forget about your original TRP. It isn't worth anything. I know I told you that it was, but it isn't. You're never going to get it. Sign this. Sign on for a $500 rental increase. Sign on for a new restrictive lease. Sign on for a future dem eviction. Thank you, Sandra Singh, but absolutely not. And we told you this right from the very beginning, that you would end up doing this to us, and shocker and surprise, but not really, you did. It's exactly what you did. <laughs> Anyways, um, John, uh, you owe Sandra Singh and Mayor Kennedy Stewart uh, a really nice bottle of something, maybe a vacation in the south of France, because you certainly managed to pervert any kind of 
you know, ethics that they had. You certainly managed to pervert any kind of goodwill that they would have built up with the renters of Vancouver, and you did it for your own benefit. You are greedy. You managed to subvert them. Uh, congratulations on that. But you don't scare me. Your, your lawyers don't scare me. And John, I'm going to be keeping up on this forever. I will never let up on this. So prepare to see a thousand more videos. As soon as this COVID thing is released, you will see me with that sign, this sign that uh, I spent all day making. You will see me outside your office every Thursday, uh, I hope, starting, you know, in a couple of weeks, as soon as, as soon as I can, as soon as it is deemed publicly acceptable to be out in public uh, protesting. Thank you.